Hello, today we're going to look at the benefits of using overhead stirring as opposed to magnetic stirring when carrying out process research and development on a small scale, typically 500 mil sample or less. We're going to look at the techniques used in production and how if we can use the same techniques throughout the development process as early as possible, we can get better results in scale up. Companies involved in chemical manufacturing are looking to optimize reaction synthesis on a production scale. This can be in many different industrial sectors, including pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, polymers, plastics, and can be carried out in-house or subcontracted to a CDMO. When we consider the methods used for stirring chemical batch processes in manufacturing, we will find overhead drive mechanical stirring combined with impellers. We often find a chemist might prefer to use magnetic stirring with stirrer bars on a scale of 50 mil, 100 mil, 250 mil, for example, as opposed to overhead stirring where traditional systems may be more difficult to set up. Overhead stirring systems are sometimes not considered when working on this small scale. That could be because of the difficulty in setting the apparatus up, mounting an overhead stirrer onto a framework in the back of the fume hood. Any misalignment might lead to vibration, putting a stress on the glassware and potential breakage. There are newer systems available which overcome the traditional issues of stirrer misalignment through use of a dropping coupling. Using a magnetic stirrer and stirrer bar in a round bottom flask will give different stirring characteristics compared with overhead stirred systems as is used on larger batch scale. This will mean different mass transfer rates and different reaction kinetics. The ability to cope with changing viscosities may mean that the magnetic coupling is lost and the reaction is no longer being stirred. Solids in the reactor, for example, heterogeneous catalysis, the use of scavengers, resin or silica supported reagents are likely to be physically affected by the action of the stirrer bar having a grinding effect onto the particles, reducing particle size, increasing mass transfer, and potentially giving different results to when we need to scale up to an overhead stirred system. Similarly, if there is a crystallization or precipitation stage in the reaction, the differences between magnetic stirring and overhead stirring could lead to issues in technology transfer when scaling up to larger batches. In chemical development, process research and development labs looking to scale up and scale down reactions need to be able to work effectively with small reaction volumes and still simulate plant conditions. The way in which a large batch is stirred can have a significant impact on both the reaction and the final product. The mass transfer, interactions between solids and liquids within the reactor, the reaction kinetics, addition rates, particle size structures, crystals and other precipitates. A good understanding of how overhead stirring can affect production is vital to good technology transfer when scaling reactions up or down. The various designs of impeller will affect the flow within the reactor. For example, radial, like the anchor, or axial, like the turbine or propeller. Impellers can also have additional blades along the stirrer shaft to improve mixing throughout the vessel. The use of jacketed lab reactors enables the chemist to use overhead stirring with a choice of different impeller designs. For example, with reactor-ready jacketed lab reactors, we're able to offer active heating and cooling on reaction volumes down to 500 mil, 250 mil, 100 mil, and be able to replicate the geometry of industrial plant reactors with a range of stirrer impellers available. Apparatus such as the Meyer 4 reaction station allows the chemist to work in parallel with active heating and cooling with sample volumes of 200 mil or less and independently controlled overhead stirring. The development lab can therefore closely mimic what is happening in a manufacturing process. The Tornado also offers overhead stirring of reactions in parallel with sample volumes down to approximately 25 mil at the same temperature and same stir speed. For more information on the benefits of overhead stirring on a small scale 
and how Radleys can help you, please visit our website.